everyone. It has been week 34 here at Lambda School and I am still on the job hunt. So it's been about four weeks since I graduated and it is a process to say the least. So some things I'd like to talk about this week are the take home exam that I had from one company, the mentor uh, meeting on the phone that I had with uh, a new mentor of mine, and then also a technical exam for another company that I had uh, midweek, and then kind of just what I'm doing uh, during the day, um, things I'm doing to upgrade my skills. So first up, I'd like to talk about the take home um, project that I had from one company. Basically, it was to build out a UI for uh, some mock that they had provided me complete with uh, different uh, assets like pictures that I was able to use inside that uh, project. So I finished the project pretty early and then I went back and I actually did some testing to it. I cleaned up the code and I made it um, kind of the structure more streamlined. So. Um, that's what took most of the time and it's been three or four days now but I haven't heard back from them since I've submitted the project midweek so I'm hoping to hear from them next week maybe they are still evaluating my work to see how I've done and next up I would like to talk about my mentor um, this is a mentor from Lambda School that uh, was introduced to me um, and basically, it's, it's just a, someone in the field that helps you maybe find a job in the area that you're living in because they are local um, to you. And then they also have a lot of experience in the industry. So my mentor was really cool. He had an industry experience with Facebook, CBS, and many other things. And he was more of a UI engineer or a front-end developer when he started his career, but now he's transitioned to almost an investor and a speaker in a sense. So he has a lot of cool experiences. We shared conversations about artificial intelligence and how the career in the future um, is more like managing people rather than building out UIs because that will be automated at one point or another because he said that they have um, computers now where, or software or something that can build out uh, websites for people and it's not uh, Squarespace or Wix or anything like that either. So it's pretty insane to see that's what's coming up in the next um, decade or so and we had other cool conversations about the area that we're living in and more about the tech industry as well. The third thing that happened this week was the technical exam um, I had with another company and overall it was about an hour and it was some behavioral questions some technical questions about uh, redux and then a part where i had to code um, basically rewrite a jess function a jess testing function and the result was that i really didn't do the best that i could um, i'm still relatively new to technical interviewing i've had only a little bit of practice so far and it's tough for me to think on the spot not so much because that I'm nervous or anything like that it's more that I don't know what they're really asking or kind of like the how to do the problem itself and it's always something I've struggled with but nonetheless um, I think every move that you make you gain experience so as I go through these I get more and more experience and at one point or another, it's only going to take one company to decide that they want to hire me and I'll get a job. So I'm not discouraged. It's more of a learning process. You get better at it. And it's a whole separate skill set as well. It's not even the, the app that you can make. It's more now like, oh, can they do these algorithms, which is it's a good indicator, but I wouldn't say it's like, you know, that great. You know, so I prefer, prefer take home projects over these technical interviews. So uh, they let me know the next day pretty much that they've moved on with other candidates. And I was like, okay, well, it's going to take a 
you know, a lot of applications, a lot of interviews before I find my company. And that's just how the project goes. And I've realized this in the past. It's a, it's a numbers game, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm not like bitter about it. I'm moving on with it. And then uh, kind of just in my after hours, I've been working with uh, Coding Bat, which is a, a website where you practice coding with uh, Python. I felt that I needed to brush up on it. And then I also have a Udemy course that a classmate of mine had recommended. It's with Python 3, so you build out different apps. And I'm going through it so I can review the syntax, review how things are connected in Python. And it also teaches Django, so I haven't gotten to that portion yet. The last thing is I've been doing some free code camp, going back to their curriculum. It's been about a year or two years or more. And I gotta say, it's changed a lot and it's pretty amazing. Um, they have sections in there now about object-oriented programming, functional programming, um, different algorithms now, and uh, it's really cool. So I recommend that you do check it out. It's completely free and they do take donations, but um, they have a fantastic spread of different topics in web development. Um, even a interview section at the end where you can work on different problems, they teach you how to uh, work on your interview skills and that kind of thing. So in the spirit of keeping this video short, I will end it here. Um, feel free to ask me any questions or how I'm doing my job hunting process or anything like that. I'd be glad to provide any inf information that might help you out. And so keep crossing my fingers here, keep applying, keep you know pushing forward. Sooner or later it's going to be that one company that hires me and it's going to be great. So I hope you guys have a rest of the great um, a great rest of the weekend and then also a great next week so i will talk to you in week 35